Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life of Paul, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. We have a phenomenal episode in store for you guys today. This is four days in a row now. It's been quite some time since I've done that many episodes in a row, but it's because the hype train for Stradman's hypercar and subsequently his Supra replacement are at an all-time high. The train has left a station that's over the cliff, traveling at terminal velocity. We have so much to go over about his latest video dropped just a couple hours ago. So we're going to jump right into the breakdown of the video, guys. But before we do, make sure to lightly tap the subscribe button, guys. Help the Beard Army, maybe Beard Nation, grow. And here we go. All right, guys, let's get the monster one out of the way first. Uh, if you watched this video, there's a 99% chance you saw this one. And that within the first 30 seconds of the video, Stradman essentially says, well, something is in the works right now. He just got off the phone and made this announcement. But this is the beginning of a new era you might say I just had a phone call I did not buy a car but I kind of well we talk numbers there's Things are in process right now. <laughs> Stefan, you take over. I'm about to say something I shouldn't. Undoubtedly, guys, he's talking about his hyper car. It sounds like he's made the decision on what car he's actually going to purchase. You wouldn't be talking numbers with a dealership or an individual unless you really made that decision on what hyper car to purchase. And then he basically tells Stefan, the cameraman, to stop him before he reveals something big. Now, I know some of you guys in the comments might be like, well, maybe he's talking about the super replacement. I don't think so because later in the video, we get a whole section about that. But yes, guys, Hypercar has been chosen. There's no more deliberation. And I would have to imagine it's going to be coming just any day now. And before we move on to our next element of the story, guys, in terms of the breakdown, I want to talk about something that a lot of you guys have undoubtedly noticed, and that is that Stradman generally is having himself filmed for a good portion of his videos by Stefan now. So for those of you guys who don't know, we're talking about Stefan Lewis. So Stefan Lewis on his Instagram account lists himself as a creator for 8080, does some freelance work, and is behind some of the awesome montages that we saw of Manny Koshman's cars when Stradman was just out there for one of his latest videos. And what's very interesting is Stefan has quickly become a character for Stradman to sort of bounce conversation off of while he's being filmed. Color out. That is sick. I'm not gonna lie, if I had a Raptor, it would be this color, I think. I like the red. Should I wrap my Raptor red? That'd be kind of cool. Okay. I was thinking of wrapping my Raptor blue because I had the vinyl for the 4GT that was blue. Oh, there you go. And this is a very interesting move, guys, because this is actually something that's been tried by a number of automotive channels uh, to varying levels of success. Most notably, guys, Daily Driven Exotics tried this about a year and a half ago and was met with sort of uh, an immediate like negative reaction until they started adding in more of the first person perspective again. And we do see a couple comments in Stradman's comment section making note of this fact that they enjoyed the vlogs, but it was 100% sort of Stradman filming himself. I, for one, really don't mind how he films. The content is generally the same, and we get better cinematography because Stefan is a real pro in that area. But let me know what you guys think of Stefan filming Stradman in place of Stradman doing everything himself. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or if you don't. So real quick note, guys, make sure to go check out Patrick Adair's account. Patrick Adair is the guy that bought Stradman's Ford GT and actually has some pretty cool plans for it. I checked out both of his channels. He makes some awesome stuff and his car channel, the brand new channel that he has specifically geared toward doing Stradman 4 GT content now and beyond has gained like three to 4,000 subs in the last two hours. I imagine he's going to go to at least 20,000 before it's all said and done. Seems like an awesome guy. I had a quick word before I started making this video today. Go check out both of his channels. His ring channel in particular is very interesting. It's awesome to see the way that different people make a living on on YouTube. All right, guys, next up, uh, one of the big ones that we have not talked about at all on this channel yet, and that is the Toyota Supra replacement. As you guys know, Stradman sold the, the crazy wide body purple Toyota Supra to Jeffree Star, one of his biggest videos over the last couple months for sure. Slightly contentious as it may be, considering everything that Jeffree Star is going through right now. But at about the nine minute mark in today's video, he starts talking about actual cars in terms of what would be a replacement for the Supra. What do you guys think? 
think I need a JDM car on the channel. I sold the Super, the Y body. That car was so much fun. The build was so much fun. Do we get like an R35 GTR or an R32 or a Mark IV Supra or an NSX? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I want to do a crazy build. I really don't know what though. So obviously you guys heard him talk about a bunch of different cars there. R35, R32, NSX, all sorts of awesome JDM options. I think that that build might be one of the bigger builds he does in the future. Obviously he's going to have some great hypercar content, but you can't modify a hypercar in the same way that you would modify one of these sort of super replacement cars. That's the first that we've heard him talk about, sort of the style and direction he wants to go for replacing the super specifically. And I'm excited to see what he's going to do in that area. It's all about sort of widening your automotive base. Obviously he was mostly super cars. Now he's got a crazy off-road Raptor. Now he's got JDM cars. He's hitting a lot of different sections of YouTube and sort of growing his base every time he does it. Next up guys, 1110 Mark. I got to throw this in there because a bunch of you messaged me and said if I didn't mention it, I, I would be doing you a disservice. Stradman talks about making a ring. Patrick has two YouTube channels. His main channel actually makes custom rings and he's gonna make me a custom ring out of my downpipe. Patrick's gonna make a custom ring for me out of the super downpipe. How sick is that? That's all I'm gonna say guys, nothing else. Uh, make of it what you will. All right, and last up guys, maybe the last clue we will ever have about what car he's going to pick, the P1 or the Veyron. He makes a very interesting sort of comment or statement about turbo noise and then basically says this. Okay, and we my viewers especially like twin turbos. They're a bit of a fan of the twin turbo system. Okay. As am I, we like, induction noise. Good. So the more induction noise you get, the more views you get. <laughs> Wait, a Bugatti has four turbos and a Pete, whoa. I'm not, hey, whoa, <laughs> caught. So I don't know, hard to know what to make of it, guys. Put in the comments below what you think he's actually talking about, if it's a real clue or just sort of a last minute fun thing he threw in the video to sort of throw people off a little bit. So the big recap, guys, Hypercar looks to have been chosen talking to a dealer or an individual about numbers about a particular car. You wouldn't do that unless you actually had chosen your car. We've got a Supra replacement, sort of a, a list to work off of now. He's making a ring and we got our final clue about the Hypercar decision. Everything coming up, aces for Stradman, guys. I can only imagine what it's gonna be like over the next couple months once he actually buys the car. All right, guys, next up, I had to throw this story in here. It's not serious whatsoever, but so many of you guys messaged me about something very strange spotted in the previous Daily Driven Exotics video. All right, so as you guys know, we already covered the brand new McLaren 720S that Damon bought for the Daily Driven Exotics channel. Very excited about the build they're gonna be doing with that, but we already talked about that. We're gonna talk about something kind of hilarious that viewers uh, sent me, I guess, on my DMs on Instagram, and that was something that was spotted sort of in the clouds while he was driving in the first two minutes of the video. 1,000 horsepower to the crank, it's not to the wheels, but it is an extremely fast car. So when we're talking about building the next Huracan, to have double that, that's no joke, which means at some point, we're probably gonna have to put Dave into like, a driving program to learn how to control this power. You guys have a good driving program. So as you guys can tell, there is apparently like a creepy cloud face man ghost sort of watching Damon up from on high. And what's actually really funny guys is that Damon actually talked about this on a particular Instagram post by Epic Productions. He put up the picture saying, hey Damon Fire, who's that creeping on you? Is that Dave at Daily Driven Exotics? And Damon responding directly, the supercar gods watch over me. Just something super funny. There are so many strange things that people catch within videos. And for a moment, I thought this was actually something that they had edited into their video, but actually I think it looks relatively genuine. I thought it was like the sign that they put up when Damon is driving the Corvette early in the video. But I had to throw it in there, guys. Just sort of a weird wonky thing that we found in that video. All right, guys, next up, it's just a six. I haven't talked about him in a long time, but I had to mention his latest video, guys, starting up the big cam Viper for the first time. I had an absolute blast watching this video. Make sure to go check this out. It sounds fantastic. They had a little bit of trouble getting it going, but once they did, man, was that an awesome sounding car. Go check it out, guys. Absolutely love the Viper. Wish I had some space for one in my own garage right now, but the stuff that we have coming makes it so I probably won't be able to for some time. Man, go check it out though. It's just a six. Just killing it with the Viper content lately. Next up, guys, the Straight Pipes review, and I gotta look down on my list to make sure I pronounce it right. Uh, the Maserati 
Quadraporte Gran Luso. Now it's been a while since we've talked about any sort of Maseratis on the channel, generally because Maserati as a brand really doesn't hold the same weight as it used to. Make sure to go check this video out. You, you'll either be overwhelmed or underwhelmed depending on whether you like Maserati to begin with. But the reason why I'm mentioning the video is because the straight pipes are like 6,000 subs away from a million subscribers. They're one of my favorite review channels. Go over, subscribe to them. Let's push them over the top. They absolutely deserve a million subs. Next up guys, Hoovy's Garage. I uh, bought another BMW, a uh, seven series this time uh, with all sorts of interesting, we'll call it issues. Boy, I'm, I'm just loving what Hoovy's Garage is putting out too guys. I've just blasted over a million subs over the past couple months and shows no sign of stopping, putting out consistently high level, funny, entertaining content. Don't miss out on this guys. Killer stuff on his channel right now. Next up, I uh, have to mention Seen Through Glass on Lamborghini Countach 25th anniversary video. Uh, what an incredible intro on one of the most iconic Lamborghinis ever made. Seen Through Glass, one of my favorite automotive channels. Just so relaxing and high quality. Uh, you, got, you gotta go check it out, guys. And the last two I wanna cover, guys, uh, you might have missed it. Uh, Doug DeMuro on his secondary channel, More Doug DeMuro, just reviewed the Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition. Very interesting to see him bring that sort of review over to the More Doug DeMuro channel. Probably trying to boost up those numbers so we can have two monster channels to sort of strike at whenever he wants. And then finally, guys, uh, Engineering Explain, one of my favorite sort of scientific automotive channels, is doing a little bit more vlogging, talking about a supercharged Mazda Miata. Always cool to see people that don't normally vlog jump back into it. Make sure to check out both of those channels if they sound like interesting videos to you. And that's about all I've got for you guys today. Uh, my car was supposed to arrive on Monday, and then it was supposed to be today, and now it's going to be Friday, but probably much further. Apparently, it's in Las Vegas. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just just sort of frustrated. I probably should have gone out there and got it myself. But nevertheless, car is on the way halfway from California to here and maybe hopefully not stuck forever in limbo or in the desert. Anyway, that's coming soon, guys. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, sane, and healthy. And that's all I got. Bye.